Hey guys, Dan from Chicago back again for another video. This is going to be the first of a series of videos to talk about 10 things for conscious people to focus on in 2013. This comes from the wakingtimes.com article by the same title of what I just said. This video is going to be about dispelling fear from your life. All right, so uh, we live in a world of duality, of fear and of love. All right, so it goes back and forth, back and forth. And, uh, and that's how we've just always been used to, what we've been used to and what we've grown up with and what we're still living with. But what we're trying to get to is wholeness by bringing together that fear and that love and seeing that there is good in the darkness and there is the light as well to uh, pull us together to make us whole. So in 2013, it's a great time to start realizing that there is good and the bad, you know. Um, you never know what's going to happen in the future. You know, if something bad might happen today, but you never know what that's going to bring the, tomorrow, uh, in the next week, month, year, that you wouldn't have been able to do if the bad thing didn't happen. Uh, I'm trying to think of an example, but things like that always happen, you know. You don't realize, you know, might be something happens, someone passes away, but then you realize that you get this huge opportunity with your job that you would never have been able to do if that person was still around that you were taking care of or something like that, you know? Um, fear is uh, something that, or let's go to this. So from my research of just looking up stuff for spirituality and life in general, everything like that, it talks about how our life is just an illusion. You know, it's what we're creating in our inside, in our heart, um, is what we see on the outside, or from our thoughts, is what we see on the outside. You know, you close your eyes, you only see the inside. You know, you see the dark darkness that you don't see anything. And then, uh, but you could concentrate, you could feel on the inside. And you might not even see only darkness. You might see colors and uh, different things, but uh, so if everything is an illusion, then anything in this illusion can be changed. You know, it's it doesn't matter. You know, so this could go back to what I talked about in previous videos uh, that you could see is Ho Oponopono, which you could use, or Violet Fire, or any other type of decree uh, sayings that you uh, feel that could kill away that fear that you have. So if you see something, you could do the ho ho'oponopono. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Or you could do the violet flame. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desire, desires. And imagine when you say these decrees that it clears out the negativity that you only keep in or only bring back is positive energy. So you get rid of that fear and you bring in the love. And that's the biggest thing. So this, in 2013, this will be something very big to do. You know, um, sorry, there's uh, rainbows. You know, uh, my grandpa just passed away. And uh, we had the funeral. Today's Friday, uh, January 18th, 2013. He passed away uh, last Wednesday, the 9th. And uh, so we had the uh, mat, or the... Well, the mass was on Monday, and when I was coming home, or the funeral, uh, and when I was driving back to the city from the suburbs, I, right when I got on the expressway, I saw this rainbow in the clouds. You know, it wasn't a rainbow, an arch rainbow, or anything like that. It was just this little thing, this up and down uh, type of rainbow of colors. And right when I saw it, I was just like, oh, Grandpa, you know? So now I just saw those up there, just rainbows. It's also sunny day. Uh, but giving that out. But, you know, and I guess that's something, too, you know, you could go into, you fear death. And that's what it talks about in uh, this article. It says, death is the ultimate fear of man. And reckoning with your own death is paramount. Uh, I'm not afraid of death. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. They say that actually... Uh, Public speaking is the number one fear of humans, of people. It's not death. Death is number two. And uh, 
people are more afraid to get up in front of a group of people and talk. So, I guess I'm not afraid of both. Ooh. <laughs> but there's other things I'm afraid of, of course. But, uh, you know, I mean, you fear these things, and it's like, what, you know? So you pass away. You go on to the other side. Me, personally, I don't feel it's the end, you know? But that's also my thoughts, you know? I feel with death, um, which I'll make a video about spirit. I wanted to do that. Um, but when you die, I think it's probably whatever you believe in. If you believe you're going to go to heaven, you're going to go to heaven. If you believe you're going to be on a beach somewhere, you're going to be on a beach. If you feel like you're going to be in hell, you'll be in hell. If you feel that there's going to be nothing, fine. Then you might go into silence, darkness, nothing, no more consciousness. But maybe that's until you wake up again and realize, oh wait, I'm still around. My spirit, my soul is still here. And, uh, and then you make a decision to come back down to earth again, reincarnate and live another life. So there's no, there's no reason to fear death. You know, it's not, it's death of this body. It's the death of, uh, you know, your ego of this lifetime. You'll just move on. You just start a new life. Everything in the world is cycles. Everything in the universe is cycles. We live through cycles all the time. Um, you know, I mean, they even say, you know, as a baby, you have you get taken care of by your parents. As a grandparent, as an old person, you get taken care of by your kids or uh, by caregivers, at least. You know, so it's a cycle. You know, you slow down. You have to wear diapers again at the end compared to at the beginning, you know. Um, again, the cycle. So there's, you know, nothing to fear. And then, fine, public speaking. All right, so you get up there. You have to talk in front of people. Maybe that's scary. Maybe that's a fear. But, I mean, what? It's not like you're going to get injured from doing it, you know. It's not like anything bad's really going to happen. The worst that could happen is, what, you stumble over a few lines of your speech or whatever, you know. Who cares? It's whatever, you know, I mean, I guess it's kind of like, stop worrying, stop the pain that you live through, stop it, you know, just focus into the heart, think about, think from the heart, live from the heart, when you don't like something, if you're fearing something, if something's going on, try to do a decree, try to read up about um, Ho'oponopono or the Violet Fire or make up your own, you know, you could even say cancel, cancel, you know, you have that thought, this negative thought comes in your mind, cancel, cancel, remove that thought from my mind, only positive, love, light, gold, um, gold, white, pink, you know, I mean, protection around you, call on your um, spirit guides, you know, feel for your spirit guides, is there anyone that comes to you, you know, like St. Michael is one of my strongest spirit guides, and uh, I call on him all the time. If something scares me, if I'm out, uh, if I'm coming home to my uh, place late at night and I'm taking the train or something like that and uh, just don't feel very comfortable, I carry around mace, first off, so I know I'm safe with that, hopefully. And, uh, but otherwise, I always just call on my spirit guides, you know, St. Michael, protect me. All the angel saints whatever, whatever, whatever works for you, that just works for me, because I'm uh, spiritually religious to an extent in that way, you know, uh, you might just call on to your parent that passed away, or maybe a sibling or a friend, you know, anyone who's not here with you uh, on this earth plane, you know, you could call on any spirits, anyone like that, anyone that you feel, you know, I mean, what if you're like a huge Elvis fan, how random is this, but my grandpa was a big Elvis fan, but I mean, uh, you could call on him and be like, hey, Elvis, you know, you're up there in heaven or wherever, you know, whatever you believe in, you know, I'm just kind of saying what I'm thinking and uh, be like, hey, will you protect me? And uh, hey, why don't you play some like good music on the radio too as I'm going or, you know, let me hear some good, uh, good tunes. I don't know. You know, I'm just talking. I'm just making up different things. But I mean, there's so much different... Um, opportunities you could do and so many different things to stop the fear stop yourself you know I think that's the biggest thing stop yourself right away breathe 
Breathe. Do three deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Relax yourself. And think, none of this is real. This is all just an illusion. It's all a creation of my consciousness. My consciousness is making me feel this way. And what an amazing thing that is when you think about it, is that you, you're, you're this powerful creator. You know that? You realize how powerful you are? We all are extremely powerful creators. So, if you just think that in your head, you just be like, stop it, what are you doing? I'm, I'm very impressed that I could trick myself in my own mind to think that there's something bad that could happen. Because when you really think about it, that's usually what it is. It's usually you're always thinking this can happen, this possibly can happen. When, when does it usually happen? Very rarely, you know? You worry, oh no, this bill, I'm going to get a bill at the end of the month. Well, usually somehow the money comes. Or we could go back into December 21st, 2012, Y2K. You get people get all crazed and think that the world's going to end when nothing happens. We're still here. We're still the same. You know, otherwise you have people, because uh, I, I like to follow politics, even though nowadays I really try to stay away from it. You know, I'll, I'll say stuff uh, when I feel it's necessary, but otherwise I try to stay away from it because I feel like it brings a lot of negativity. Um, but people get so f fear, fearful of what Obama's going to do or what the Rothschilds are doing to our world. You know, they're running this world, whatever. All these people, all oh, those bad Republicans, all oh, those bad Democrats. And I'm sorry if you're watching this from a different country. I'm just talking from the point of view of an American because um, I'm sure you have the exact same stuff. I mean, man, you go to the middle of the Middle East and I mean, eek, that is just... I feel bad for those people, you know, because they are people just like us, you know. Um, I think it's mainly just like the people that rule those countries are just like, you know, and that's what it really is, you know. Us in this world, we're all are just, we all just want to be loved, right? Don't you want to be loved? I know I want to be loved, and I also want to give love, you know, and uh, I think that's the humanity, you know. That is what the majority, the vast, vast majority of people want. It's the leaders that are the ones that are bickering over whatever, you know. I mean, they're the ones that cause the, you know, the fear, you know. I mean, man, you get these crazy shootings and terrorist attacks and stuff. It's all fear-based, you know. I mean, look at... What, you go to the airport, you get like patted down and stuff. I'm not, I'm not one of those people that were like, oh, TSA, I travel a lot, whatever. I've never gotten like molested by like what some people say. It hasn't happened. I'm sure it's probably happened to people, but you know, but people are just fearful. Everyone's just fearful. So let's stop talking about fear and let's talk about love, you know, and work on love. You know, every time you fear something, Think to yourself, it's not real. It's just an illusion. It's all a creation of my consciousness, and I can move on from there, you know? Or pull out different decrees. Make up your own things. Anything that works for you, do it. Because that is what's going to change the consciousness of people in 2013. Get out there and think love. Spread love. Feel love. Feel love. If you feel it, you'll see it. Everything that is from your inside will be viewed on the outside. There's no way to change the outside world unless you change your inside. That's the most important. You have to change yourself, you know, to make sure that you are happy, that you are loved on your inside. Get away from the ego. Stop thinking, oh, I want to win the lottery or, oh, I want that pair of Gucci shoes. First thing I thought of. <laughs> Just imagine love in yourself and love to your family, to your friends, to whoever is important to you, but especially yourself, because you deserve love. You deserve love day in and day out and forever, throughout all of your incarnation, incarnations, throughout all of your life on this planet. I feel after you pass away, they always talk about 
or if you've ever watched anything about uh, 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 what's it called uh, near death experiences, they always talk about fe a feeling of unconditional love, and that's what's going to happen as soon as you pass away. You realize, like, wow. Well, I really didn't have to worry about all that stuff, all those different things going on. Didn't really have to worry. Oh man, my girlfriend just broke up with me. So you're all upset, but really, I mean, it wasn't meant to be. You probably meet an amazing girl sometime, hopefully sooner rather than later, obviously. But it's just, it is what it is. You can't control the outside world. You know, and I think that's something I've really learned, is you can't control it. So why fear it? I just like to spread love, and that works for me. And uh, I think if we could really s dispel fear from your life, to stop worrying about things, to stop fearing things all the time, and by just clearing it out of your consciousness, it takes a lot of work, you know, I mean, and it's not ending, but it's a better way... But it will end someday. I do have a belief in that. You know, I do believe that the world will change, you know, but the more we get people to change themselves in their own hearts to only spread love and not hate and stop spreading the fear, maybe stop watching the news, you know. I can't watch the news anymore. I haven't watched the news in a long time. And if you're my friend, you know, or even a Facebook friend, you know how I used to always post about politics. I can't even, like, stand it anymore, you know, it's like, you turn that on and it's just depressing, you know, so I, maybe that's something you could do, is stay away from that, but then when there are elections, I would for sure get into the elections and still vote, but vote for the guy or girl that is, um, that follows what you want, but make sure that they really have a heart, that they really care about the people, not make false promises, you know, there's no need for putting someone in office that says, we're going to do this, you know, and it's like, oh, that's so great, what an amazing person, you know, They're, they are for this, well, have they ever done anything, you know, actions speak a lot louder than words, you know, so stop listening to uh, people just talking, why don't you look at their uh, records and see what they are, stand for, you know, hopefully they stand for love, you know, and this video has actually turned a lot more into politics than I expected it to, because I really did not plan on doing that. But uh, just stop getting worried and stop fearing the outside. And just work on dispelling fear from your inside. And those fearful feelings. Get rid of those feelings. Feel them, but then know that that doesn't serve you anymore. You know? As long as that is how you feel, you know, it's not necessary. So push it away, feel it, release it to this greater good, and bring in love. So I'll stop there. And uh, 2013, dispel fear, add more love into your body, into your heart, into your mind, into your soul. The more you spread love, the more our world will come together. It's not about more America will come together or more Europe will come together or Asia or South Africa or South America or whatever, you know. Australia, New Zealand, you know, I could keep going, but uh, you get the point. It's about all of us because we're all one. We are humanity. We are all God's children. It doesn't matter what, if you're a guy, girl, what ethnicity you are, what religion you are, we are all one. So the more that you can work on yourself, and the more you get rid of fear consciousness, we'll just get rid of more fear, we'll get rid of the fear con consciousness in the world. The more you get love in you, the more love will spread to all of humanity throughout everyone's consciousness. So work with us, or me and everyone, let's all join together to get more love in the heart and to move forward with love. God bless, much love, uh, peace, and thank you for watching. This is Dan from Chicago. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, 
or uh, write comments below. Love to hear from you. Join me on Facebook, YouTube. Uh, let's uh, get this conversation started some more and keep spreading love to this universe. I will, uh, yeah, and I did just say universe, which I wasn't planning on saying. I was going to say world. But that is true. They say that uh, all this God light that's coming here after December 21st or around that time, the photon belt, look this stuff all up. I'm not going to get into it now. Um, it's all, our whole universe, all the planets are going through this, you know. Um, and it's spreading way out, probably farther than we even know. So keep spreading the love. God bless. Much love. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel as well. Can't forget that. All right, thanks.